and yields chair recognizes mr wilson secretary blinken earlier this week i was grateful to achieve a phone call with the very dynamic and dedicated daughters of the late maj kamamaz who was identified as having been murdered by the assad regime Dr. Kamamaz, an American psychologist, was kidnapped by the Assad dictatorship in 2017 while visiting an elderly fam family member. He was a devoted person to counseling people who have suffered from extreme danger. He was the father of four children. Dr. Kamamaz is a Syrian-American. Can you explain the refusal of the administration to say his name or condemn his murder at the hands of the Assad regime? Will there be a criminal investigation into his murder? Um, I'm happy to pursue that with you, um, and I need to make sure that I know the full facts uh, and, hey, of the case. and, hey, we're, go we're going to get them to you happy, because happy Dr. Kamamaz was a great American, a Syrian-American who was uh, flat-out murdered. Additionally, uh, as so accurately exposed by Chairman Mike McCall, the uh, war criminal of Putin is attacking Ukrainian citi citizens from Russian territory. It's just 30 miles to the second largest city of Kharkiv with a population of 1.4 million. And I'm really grateful we see with Congressman Bill Keating that our concern is uh, bipartisan. Hey, we want you to do good. We want to succeed. War criminal Putin is murdering uh, Ukrainian civilians as we speak, sacrificing Ukrainian lives to satisfy the false escalation narratives that has been repeatedly being seen as false is also immoral. When will the administration allow Ukraine to use the equipment to end the war and save lives? This is important. To delay equipment could lead to the legacy of Biden Blinken with a never ending war, as has been warned by uh, the Washington Post, even. Uh, thank you, Congressman. And every, every step along the way, we've endeavored to make sure that Ukraine has what it needs, when it needs it, can use it effectively, can maintain it effectively. Uh, as I said to uh, Congressman Keating, we're always open to um, our listening to our, our partners and, as necessary, making and, adjustments. And, hey, so we'll this is so clear. This is response to uh, an illegal invasion. Uh, this uh, should be to deter uh, a mass murder that's being conducted. And uh, to not allow uh, the people of Ukraine to respond properly is putting so many people at risk. And then we have dictators with rule of gun invading democracies with rule of law. And our enemies are clear. War criminal Putin claims Ukraine does not exist. The murderous regime in Tehran and its puppets claim Israel does not exist. And the Chinese Communist Party says that Taiwan does not exist. Sadly, Taiwan has paid for defensive weapons which are being delayed. And there must be a deterrence uh, or to save millions of lives uh, of the people of Taiwan. It's crucial for anti-ship missiles, air defense, and F-16 advances. I particularly appreciate the people of Chinese heritage as the only son of a person serving in Congress of a World War II flying tiger who liberated China. And so uh, we liberated China, but now the people of Taiwan are subject to uh, a, a potential invasion. And the way to, to deter it is to provide the equipment. They paid for the equipment. We uh, authorized uh, funding for the equipment. What is your commitment to expedite the delivery to deter a murderous catastrophe? Thank you very much, Congressman. Um, we've notified more than $6 billion in foreign military sales during this administration. 13 proposed sales in 22 that uh, I uh, went forward with, another seven in 23. That's by far uh, the largest single and two-year um, notifications that we've made of weapon sales. Uh, the challenge that we have, as you know, in terms of moving forward on them is with uh, our production timelines. And we are doing everything we can for a whole variety of reasons, including Taiwan, uh, to make sure that those production uh, lines are moving more quickly, more efficiently, to be able to deliver on the uh, weapons that we're providing uh, to those who need them for their, their self-defense. We're committed uh, to Taiwan's defense. We're committed to making sure that it has what it needs to defend itself, commensurate with the threat it faces. Uh, but the challenge that uh, we have, as I think many members of this committee know, is with uh, uh, production and making sure that moves as quickly and efficiently as possible. And, and time is of the essence. There must be deterrence to, to avoid an invasion. It, and it can be done if we provide the equipment and with the pre-positioned equipment that we have around the world, mm -hmm. uh, that uh, there should be expedited uh, to the people of Taiwan to avoid uh, what will be the most uh, catastrophic uh, uh, world uh, incident after, sadly, the uh, abandonment of the people of Afghanistan uh, with 13 uh, dead Americans. And, and so and indeed uh, every used, effort uh, must be made to prevent an invasion. With that, I yield back. Gentlemen, yields. Uh, chair recognizes Mr.